How does it feel to get back in the win column? It feels really nice. It's been a long time since I got a win in the UFC, you know, and to uh, to drop weight class and try to start something new, um, it's a big deal. Last year was a tough year. You know, 2015 was probably one of the toughest years of my career, you know, with three losses, three really tough opponents. So um, dropping that weight, coming in and getting a win against somebody like KJ Noons is a, it's a big deal. It feels good. How do you feel about your performance? Um, average, you know. Um, the weight cut was, it was really tough on me and it didn't come off like I, I thought it would early enough. You know, I, I got to Vegas 175 pounds and that didn't move until the day before I had to weigh in. So I had to basically lose 18 pounds in less than 24 hours from Thursday night to Friday afternoon. And I was cutting weight all the way till I had to weigh in. And I recovered pretty good, but I could feel that I was uh, a little, a little heavy from the weight cut so it's something that I'll be able to critique and make a little bit better and it's one of those things that I'll take positive from it and get better out of it you know so but and, and part of the the performance is uh, my game plan was to keep keep some range with KJ because I knew I was a little faster with the kicks and then come into punching range but every time I tried to come into punching range his level change and his head movement was awesome and he would catch me so I had to mid fight try to figure out how to uh, game plan against that and that's what took me into my wrestling and clinch and uh, work against the cage you know I knew I had to get a win but KJ you know his head movement is is real tricky so I haven't faced anybody with that kind of head movement before. How's your shoulder feeling I see that you have the ice pack there. Yeah it's uh it's a little sore I threw a hard right hand early in the fight and I felt my shoulder didn't quite want to work normal the rest of the fight you know so I think that was part of uh, feels maybe like it's my rotator cuff or something, but um, we'll see. It might just be a kick or something, but uh, figure a little ice on it right away to help it recover faster, maybe. Because I, I feel good and I would like to get back at it before I put too much weight on again. <laughs> going back to this, this weight cut, I mean, how much concern was there with, with how it was going to affect your performance tonight? You're in a new weight class, shaving off that much weight in a 24 hour period. Mm -hmm. You know, what was going through your head heading into the cage tonight? Um, I just try to be as positive as possible, thinking, you know, the more weight I had on, the more uh, that I would put back on, you know. But I put on over 25 pounds. Um, I went all the way up uh, to, to 180, you know. So uh, it, I think taking that kind of weight off, putting it back on, that's 50 pounds, you know, of, of changes within a 24-hour period, you know. And I'll, uh, I think I can just do a little bit better uh, figuring that out. but. I think that extra weight kind of helped against KJ. He seemed like he was a big lightweight too. I didn't have too much weight on him, I wouldn't think, you know, but it's funny, I was hey, I saw Hendricks earlier today walking around and I was like, what'd you get back to? He's like 180, he's like, what'd you get back to? I was like 180, you know, <laughs> so fighting lightweight and he's still welterweight, you know, we still ended up being uh, the same weight, but I'd say it's the first time I've done that, you know, and it was uh, it was an experience. and. I, I know that my performances can get better from uh, critiquing my weight cut. How much is it as just the fight to lose the weight? Because that's a huge hidden fight that most people have no idea about. Right. It was a big deal. I mean, um, like I said, I was cutting weight all the way till we had to go. I was late to weigh-ins, you know, by about 15 minutes because I was cutting all the way till uh, just, both throw, just below. I cut for two hours and 50 minutes, you know. Um, I did it, uh, Abilene plastic suit, uh, ran and walked on the treadmill for about an hour, laid down under towels, and then I went and did the rest in the sauna and the steam room. Um, but usually to cut uh, seven pounds the day of uh, weigh-ins is, is average, seven or eight pounds, and I can do that in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And it took me uh, two hours and 50 minutes to cut 11 pounds. Uh, that day and then I cut eight more the night before that, you know, so it was like I say 20 pounds in in a, in a 12 hour 20 hour period um, but it uh, yeah, The weight cut was over and I was like, oh, this is great, but walking back to the hotel room I tried to hydrate, you know, I, I, I threw up on the way back to the hotel room I was laying in my bed shaking a little bit, you know, and it just felt like my system was coming back and um, it was intense, but then once it was over and I started to hydrate and feel better, I knew I was all right, you know, so um, 
It was an intense weight cut. It's something I can get better at, and I expect to have better performances um, figuring that out. I just, I, uh, three weeks ago, I was 190 pounds. You know what I mean? So it's a hell of a weight cut. You talked about the rough year that you had last year. How important was it for you to go in there and put on the performance that you did and get back into the win column? Was that like just, did you feel like your back was up against the wall at all? You know, I didn't feel it till we were going into the third round. And I just was sitting there and listening to my corners, and I, I just knew, listen, your career's on the line. You know, uh, if you don't if you don't dig down and win this third round, then you know you might be fighting somewhere else. So I felt it, but I didn't feel it till the third round. You know, I I really had a lot of confidence going into this fight with KJ. Um, I thought I was going to win it a little bit easier, um, but KJ gained my respect and hits hard. So. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a big win, you know, uh, and I, I really think it's just uh, the beginning uh, at, at lightweight because I know that I'm gonna get a lot better. I know there's some things that I can do that are gonna make me a much much better fighter at this weight class. I think I had a, a average performance, um, and like I said, I know that I can put it together a little bit better. Now putting the weight back on in such a short amount of time, what is that like? Especially it'd be different if you were just sitting home, but to go compete, that's like me putting on a 20-pound backpack and then going and fighting. Do you feel it that way, or is it not that bad? No, uh, I feel great all day, actually. I knew that recovering was a hard process last night, and so that might uh, mess with me a little bit today. Um, but no, adrenaline's a hell of a drug, <laughs> and uh, it can make you forget about a lot of things, you know? And I was on a high all day, felt good, felt like I was floating around. Um, all the way to the fight, you know, and I know I'm being a little tough on myself because of the weight cut and this, you know, but over uh, all in all, I'm, I'm happy about my performance. And like I said, I am uh, give KJ some credit to, to how that fight went because he smacked me in the mouth a couple of times and gained my respect. Now, you've been in the game for long enough and you're an experienced enough guy. You mentioned his head movement and it, you've never seen anything like that. Is there anything else surprising you in the game that's out there? Is there anything new that's being done or was just the way he was doing something you already knew about different? Oh, he's just really tough to hit. You know, I know uh, it's like uh, I knew I could find my range with the kicks and then I wanted to close the distance and start throwing harder strikes and landing those strikes. And I landed a few, but... There was a couple times where I'm throwing a punch, he's moving around and, and, and hitting me in the mouth, you know, and uh, it was really tricky. It was different because it's not like he's looking at you, you know, he's ducking underneath and then coming up over the top, but he's very aware of, of his distance and what's going on in the pocket. And uh, I learned a little bit about it. I don't know that it's what I would try, but he's really, uh, he's good at it and it's hard to explain um, his rhythm and his timing. But it's almost like I'm not looking at you, I'm hitting you in the mouth and I'm right in your face, you know. And so, but my, my way to counter that was to cover up, clinch, and put him against Cage, you know. So, uh, but I haven't had to do that for a lot of years, you know. And then he, uh, he made me do something that I think that, uh, and that's what won me the fight. If I would have done what I'd done with, uh, who was the last guy? Uh, I just like thinking Cage went right now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fitch, he deserved that. Uh, um, Co is it Cote? Yeah, yeah Cote, yeah. right? Yeah, Cote, if I would have done that against Cote, I would have won the fight. I would have put him against Cage, put him on his back, and, uh, and won the fight. But, and I probably would have done that if my back was against the wall, you know, but I needed to win this fight, and um, I had to be patient about it and, and get a victory, which isn't always the way I fight. I just knew it was an important fight. And, I know there's a lot bigger fights ahead of me, so winning was winning was the key. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it very much. Enjoy the rest of the night. Oh, you too.